Uh, welcome back. We're here today with Uli Brodel, uh, Vice President of Medical and Regulatory Affairs, Beringer Ingelheim, Canada. Welcome, Uli. Thanks so much, Ed, for having me. Uh, we appreciate your time. Now, Beringer Ingelheim um, remains unique in the, in the field of, of, of healthcare um, as the largest private entity uh, globally. Um, I think that gives you an advantage um, over, over many private companies, uh, over many public companies, excuse me, in terms of your technology, in terms of your research. Could you elaborate on that? Right. So Beringer Ingelheim is the largest fully family-owned pharmaceutical company worldwide. Therefore, Beringer Ingelheim can think in generations as opposed to quarterly financial results. And because of that, we are committed to driving innovation, driving novel solutions to serve the needs of patients and the needs of the healthcare system. And as part of that, in addition to traditional R&D innovation, we very much look into digital innovation. It includes artificial intelligence and blockchain technology. That's wonderful. Um, it's, a, it's a terrific point you make about thinking in terms of generation, generational solutions. Uh, too many companies are trapped in trying to, to spit out the next set of financial results for their investors, whereas Beringer um, appears to be much more focused on its patient population. That's absolutely right. Um, patients are at the heart of everything we do. So we do want to improve patient outcome, patient safety, and improve patient empowerment in all of our activities. That's wonderful. Now, you've been with Beringer now for 10 years. That's right. Um, what have you seen change the most in the past 10 years in terms of your focus day to day um, and what you're focused on for the next 10 years? <clears throat> Over the last uh, 10 years, I think the environment has changed dramatically. Um, healthcare costs are increasing dramatically. The level of fragmentation and silo mentality has not decreased, but in parts of the world even increased further. And going forward, I think if we wanted to make sure that we improve patient outcome, patient empowerment while reducing cost, we A, have to collaborate, we have to partner to find solutions between traditional and maybe non-traditional stakeholders. And Beringer Ingelheim as a company is committed because we leave belief in partnering for success. Now, do you find that Health Canada, for example, um, has been easier to work with uh, as compared to the FDA? Many companies in the United States um, encounter difficulty with the FDA as a bureaucratic organization, but we hear anecdotally uh, that Health Canada seems to be a much more collaborative organization. I do think all of the big uh, healthcare agencies, um, health agencies including the US FDA, Health Canada, but also EMA, are advocating for the patient. And they take safety, but also innovation into consideration right. to find the right balance. Um, our personal experience is that Agencies are very open and welcoming to novel approaches if they serve patient safety and patient empowerment. That's wonderful, I understand that. Um, talk to me about your uh, recent collaboration that you announced earlier this year with IBM Canada. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> um, earlier this year at TIMS, we have announced a first of its kind collaboration with IBM Canada to explore the value proposition of blockchain technology in clinical trials. Mind you, um, the clinical trial ecosystem is very complex as it involves multiple stakeholders, resulting in limited trust, transparency, process inefficiencies driving costs, risk of non-compliances, while at the same time the patient is not empowered. Blockchain technology has the potential to improve trust, transparency, patient empowerment and by automation of processes, patient safety while reducing costs. So we have earlier this year started a blockchain-based clinical trial, which is a sub-study of a regular phase two randomized placebo control trial to test exactly the value proposition that I mentioned in a blockchain-based study versus a study that utilizes and leverages standard methodology. Right, so both in terms of time and cost, 
Um, are you seeing a, a difference, a real difference in that subset? So I can't comment on this yet. Okay. Uh, the blockchain piece has just been completed. We are in the process of analyzing the data and comparing the blockchain piece versus the standard piece with regards to non-compliances, patient safety, monitoring time and cost, and patient empowerment. And we hope to be able to share the data in the first half of next year. Well, that's very exciting. We look forward to that. Um, the potential to dramatically decrease um, the time to get through that critical stage of, of clinical trials is, is very exciting. Um, recently, in the second quarter, uh, the University of British Columbia announced that they're launching uh, Canada's first blockchain and distributed ledger technology training path. Uh, tell me about Beringer Ingelheim's involvement with that. So Beringer Ingelheim, as I have alluded to, believes in partnering for success with traditional stakeholders, academia, non-traditional stakeholders, including various tech companies, because we believe only in this amalgamation of different opinions, diversity drives truly innovation to serve the needs of patients and the healthcare system. Now, um, <coughs> the University of British Columbia put forward the first blockchain-based grad student training path, and UBC faculty will teach approximately 140 students over the next three years in areas of interest that includes indigenous issues, clean energy, regulatory technologies and healthcare. And we are excited to be part of this collaboration to help foster the next generation of innovators, of scientists, researchers that feel comfortable driving innovation at the intersection of digital technology and healthcare industry. It's very exciting. Uli Brodel, VP, Medical and Regulatory Affairs, Beringer Ingelheim, Canada. Thank you for joining us, Uli. Thank you so much. It is my pleasure. The 2019 Converge to Accelerate conference is brought to you by IEEE, the world's largest technical professional organization for the advancement of technology. Bollinger Ingelheim, passionately working to improve healthcare. NASCO, advancing digital health together. Ipsy US, the Association of Independent Workers, for one, for all. Partners in Digital Health, publishers of the forward-reaching blockchain in Healthcare Today and Telehealth and Medicine Today. Special consideration to iWorker Innovations, taking the independent workforce to new heights. Connected Health Conference, designing for healthy habits and better outcomes. Haven Health Solutions, providing true blockchain transactional interoperability. Special thanks to Seaport World Trade Center for hosting us. And a special thanks to 1800 Public Relations for all your PR and media support. We'll be right back after these messages. Don't go away.